Hello and welcome. In this math tutorial, our task is to find the non-integer root of this exponential equation. There are several ways of solving this problem. We can decide to start by rewriting this equation as 2 times 3 to the power x squared is equal to 2 times 3 to the power x. Of course, you know that 2 times 3 is going to give us 6. Now, the next thing we are going to do is to take log of both sides of the equation. When we do that, we have that log 2 times 3 to the power x squared is equal to log 2 times 3 to the power x. Now, of course, you know that this is a product. Remember that log a times b is equal to log a plus log b. So that means that we can write this left-hand side as log 2 plus log 3 to the power x squared. And on the right-hand side, what we are going to do is that we will apply the power rule. That is, we are going to bring down this exponent x to the front of the log term to become a multiplier. When we do that, we have x times log 2 times 3 on the right hand side of the equation. Now, of course, when you look at this, you know that we also need to apply the power rule. That is, we will bring down x squared to the front of this log term. When we do that, then on the left hand side, we have log 2 plus x squared log 3. And this is equal to x log 2 times 3. Now, from here, it's very easy to see that we have a quadratic equation. We have x squared log 3. We bring this over to the left-hand side, and we have minus x log 2 times 3. And then we have the constant term log 2 and this is equal to 0. Now of course you know that we can write this as log 2 plus log 3. This is multiplied by x. We still have x squared log 3 and we still have log 2 and this equation is equal to 0. Now, when we open this bracket, we have x squared log 3 minus x log 2 minus, minus plus is minus x log 3 plus log 2 is equal to 0. Now, we can factorize this equation. When you look at these two terms, you're going to see a common factor which is x. Now, x squared log 3 divided by x is going to give us x log 3. And minus x log 2 divided by x is going to give us minus log 2. Now, when you look at these two, what are we going to factorize out of these two terms? To give us exactly what we have in this bracket, of course, you know that it is minus 1. Because minus x log 3 divided by minus 1 is going to give us plus x log 3. While plus log 2 divided by minus 1 is going to give us minus log 2. And of course, this is equal to 0. Now we have two terms. And of course, when you look at these two terms, you're going to see a common factor, which is x log 3 minus log 2. So we have x log 3 minus log 2 multiplied by x minus 1. And of course, this is equal to 0. And of course, you already know that when the product of two items is 0, then it simply means that either one of the items is equal to zero or both of the items are equal to zero. 
So from here, we have that either x log 3 minus log 2 is equal to 0 or x minus 1 is equal to 0. And from here, we have that x log 3 is equal to log 2. And dividing both sides of this equation by log 3, we have that x is equal to log 2 over log 3. Now, from here, we have that x is equal to 1. Of course, you can see that this is the integer root, and this is the non-integer root that we are looking for. So we have that x is equal to log 2 over log 3. Now, if you don't care to solve quadratic equations with log coefficients, the alternative way of solving this problem is to once more start by writing this equation as 2 times 3 to the power x squared is equal to 2 times 3 to the power x. Then we expand this right hand side. We have 2 times 3 to the power x squared is equal to 2 to the power x multiplied by 3 to the power x. Then we do a substitution. Let 2 be equal to 3 to the power d, where d is a real constant. Now, with this substitution, we have 3 to the power d times 3 to the power x squared is equal to 3 to the power d to the power x multiplied by 3 to the power x. Now, remember that when we multiply two numbers with the same base, we simply add their exponents. So here we have 3 to the power x squared plus d. And this is equal to, opening this bracket, we have 3 to the power dx multiplied by 3 to the power x. And of course, you know that this is equal to 3 to the power x plus dx. And now that we have the same base on both sides of the equation, we can equate the exponents. When we do that, we have that x squared plus d is equal to x plus dx. And of course, when we rearrange this equation, we have x squared minus x minus dx plus d is equal to 0. Now, when you look at these two terms, you're going to see a common factor, x. So we have x into x squared divided by x is x, and minus x divided by x is minus 1. Between these two factors, you also have a common factor, which is minus d. Minus dx divided by minus d is going to give us x. And plus d divided by minus d is going to give us minus 1. And of course, this is equal to 0. Now, from here, we have x minus 1 multiplied by x minus d is equal to 0. And of course, once more, from here, we have that either x minus 1 is equal to 0 or x minus d is equal to 0. From here, we have that x is equal to 1. And from here, we have that x is equal to d. And of course, having found d to be equal to x, we come back to this substitution. We have that 2 is equal to 3 to the power x. Now, we can take log of both sides. We have that log 2 is equal to log 3 to the power x. When we apply the power rule to this right-hand side, we have that log 2 is equal to x times log 3. And of course, when we divide both sides of this equation by log 3, we have that x is equal to log 2 over log 3. Exactly the same value that we found using the first method. And finally, to check our answer, let us substitute this value of x into the original equation to see whether the equation is satisfied. Before we do that, you know that we can write this as log to base 3 of 2. Now, substituting into the left-hand side, we have 2 times 3 to the power 
log to base 3 of 2 to the power log to base 3 of 2. Remember that to get rid of these brackets, all we have to do is to multiply these two powers. And of course, this times this is going to give us x squared, which is what we have on the left hand side. Now, is this equal to 2 times 3 to the power log to base 3 of 2? Recall that a to the power log to base a of b is equal to b. So that means that 3 to the power log to base 3 of 2 is equal to 2. So here we have 2 times 2 to the power log to base 3 of 2. Now, on the right hand side, opening this bracket, we have 2 to the power log to base 3 of 2 multiplied by 3 to the power log to base 3 of 2. Once more, going back to this identity, we can write this as 2 to the power log to base 3 of 2 multiplied by 2. And of course, you can see that this left hand side is exactly equal to this right hand side. So this value of x satisfies the original equation. And if you want this in decimal, we have that x is approximately equal to 0 0.6309. And with that, we come to the end of this tutorial. I hope you learned something new. If you enjoy such content, please subscribe to the channel. Leave us a thumbs up to support the channel. Thanks for watching. And you can see more videos here.